Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we will do a follow-up on the video on the book Sentience, in which we looked at the evolution of consciousness. I want to look at possible future developments of consciousness and what that might entail. And we will deep dive on two possible developments. One of them is collective or networked consciousness, and the other one is transcendent or post-biological consciousness. Let's get started. Based on existing theories and speculations in philosophy, neuroscience and cognitive science, several potential candidates for the next stage of consciousness development could be proposed. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did once before. I'm going to show you um, these possible developments with a short presentation. Okay, so we are going to start with the image that I showed you in the last video. I mean, that was the conclusion of um, the video on sentience. And we were wondering what happens when... Let me go back. So we were wondering what happens after the cognitive consciousness step. So we'll take this as our starting position here on the left and we'll go through the various um, options. The first type of consciousness um, that we could expect would be metacognitive consciousness. This would involve a just a higher level of awareness of one's own cognitive processes. Um, it would go beyond merely thinking and reasoning to a conscious control and refinement of thinking patterns. Um, and in this state, individuals might be able to not only be aware of their thoughts, but to actively shape, modify and optimize them in real time, improving efficiency in problem solving creativity and emotional regulation. Up next would be collective or networked consciousness. This might involve the emergence of a form of consciousness that integrates individual awareness into a larger or collective framework. It would entail advancements in communication technology, possibly brain to brain interfaces, um, and we would end up with a sort of hive mind type of consciousness. the images supporting this concept. So third, there could be a stage where the boundary between conscious and unconscious processing would blur significantly. Humans today rely on unconscious processes for many aspects of their lives, for instance language acquisition, memory and motor skills. But the next stage may allow um, individuals to access and manipulate these unconscious processes in a conscious manner, providing unprecedented control over instincts, emotions and intuitions. Fourth, we have integrated multisensory consciousness. So this stage might involve a dynamic expansion of the senses, either through natural evolution or technological enhancement. Um, imagine consciousness that can perceive additional dimensions, such as quantum states, electromagnetic fields, or even access different time scales, for instance, experiencing events at both microscopic and cosmological time frames. And fifth, we have hyper-reflective consciousness. So that's another possibility um, of a state in which beings not only understand their thoughts, but can reflect on the very nature of consciousness itself with far greater clarity and insight than today. This could involve a deep philosophical or spiritual understanding of existence, moving closer to understanding the nature of reality, life and the universe in a way that is fundamentally beyond current human comprehension. Sixth, uh, we have transcendent or post-biological consciousness. So th this would involve um, consciousness transcending biological limitations, potentially through artificial means, um, with the development for of AI and brain-machine interfaces, consciousness might evolve beyond the human brain into digital or non-biological systems, 
um, this post-biological consciousness could experience reality in ways that are incomprehensible to current human minds, such as perceiving multidimensional realities or accessing vast amounts of information instantaneously. Um, and last, I wanted to show you the relative time scale of when we could expect this to happen. So we're starting uh, with uh, 2024 today, and you can see here by when um, we could expect one or the other um, to be happening. So let's pursue two concepts more closely um, next, and we will look at uh, collective or networked consciousness more closely, which could happen in 20 to 50 years, as well as transcendent and post-biological uh, consciousness, which we could expect to um, come into play 100 plus years from now. <music> So what would collective or networked consciousness entail? We will look at key characteristics, some challenges and examples from current research. In terms of characteristics, collective consciousness implies that human minds are linked through a network such that mental states, thoughts, feelings, perceptions are shared between individuals. This could resemble a cognitive kind of internet where individuals can access each other's experiences and knowledge. In such a consciousness state, individuals would be able to collaborate and empathize at an unprecedented level. Real-time sharing of emotions and ideas could lead to better understanding, cooperation and problem solving. This could be highly beneficial in fields like science, education and global governance. Technologies such as BCIs between the brain and external devices are key enablers of such collective consciousness. Such systems could allow for neural data to be shared potentially bypassing traditional forms of communication and facilitating direct mind-to-mind -mind exchanges. The collective mind could pool cognitive resources in order to solve complex problems or come to decisions. This would involve individuals contributing specialized knowledge and cognitive abilities to a shared system, enabling faster and more effective decision-making processes. A critical challenge in developing a collective consciousness is maintaining individual autonomy and privacy. How do individuals retain personal identity and boundaries in a shared mental network? Issues of consent, mental privacy and security could be crucial to address. Such systems could be vulnerable to exploitation by those who control the network. Unequal access to the collective consciousness or manipulation of the shared system could create ethical concerns. In terms of examples in current thought, we can see that certain speculative futures explore the concept of a hive mind where individual identities sort of blend into a collective intelligence. This is a scenario often discussed in science fiction and and philosophical discourse. For instance, the philosopher Pierre Lévy, his concept of collective intelligence envisions a future where people collaborate on a global scale through digital networks, where they contribute to a shared pool of knowledge. Companies like Neuralink, the one founded by Elon Musk, are already developing technologies that could be one day facilitating such interactions. Early stage brain-to-brain -brain communication has been demonstrated in research studies where individuals can exchange simple signals or commands through neurotechnology. A little further out on the timeline is transcendent or post-biological consciousness. Again, I'm going to run you through the key characteristics the challenges and examples from current research. A central idea in post-biological consciousness is the concept of mind uploading, the transfer of human consciousness from the biological brain to a digital substrate, such as a computer or a cloud network. This would allow consciousness to transcend the limitations of the physical body, which would potentially enable immortality or existence in virtual environments. 
In this scenario, consciousness could either be entirely transferred to a digital medium or augmented by artificial systems. Digital consciousness would involve existing as software where human cognition is run on computational hardware. Synthetic consciousness may refer to the creation of entirely new forms of consciousness within machines, possibly blending human thought processes with artificial intelligence. Once freed from biological constraints, consciousness could exist in multiple forms simultaneously. Inhabiting virtual worlds, controlling robotic avatars, or interacting with other post biological entities. This could radically expand the notion of self and identity. Post biological consciousness could theoretically live indefinitely, free from the limitations of aging, illness, or even space time. The possibility of transferring consciousness across vast distances living with computer simulations or achieving superhuman levels of intelligence are key aspects of this state. In terms of challenges, there are major debates about whether mind uploading would preserve personal identity. If consciousness is software, would it still be you? Moreover, if the brain is replicated in digital form, would that mind have subjective experience still, or would it merely simulate consciousness? Current neuroscience lacks the fine-grained understanding of the brain needed for mind uploading. While neural mapping and computational neuroscience are progressing, the complexity of fully replicating human consciousness in a digital format remains an enormous challenge. This might require breakthroughs in quantum computing or entirely new models of computation. Post-biological consciousness would raise serious questions about who gets access to such technology. Could it create stark inequalities between those who transcend their biological limitations and those who cannot? It also poses ethical concerns about the nature of suffering rights and identity for digitally uploaded beings. Examples in current thought are Ray Kurzweil's singularity hypothesis, which suggests that we will reach a point where artificial intelligence surpasses human intelligence, the technological singularity, so to speak, and that this could lead to the integration of human consciousness with machines. Kurzweil predicts that by around 2045, humans might be able to upload their consciousness into digital systems. Nick Bostrom discusses the simulation hypothesis, which speculates that advanced civilizations may already be running simulated realities. A post-biological consciousness might exist within these simulations, transcending biological limitations altogether. While mind uploading remains speculative, brain-computer interfaces and AI are fields actively being explored. Technologies like whole brain emulation are currently being studied, but full realization of such ideas likely lies a century or more away due to the immense complexity involved. If you're interested in this line of thought, I'm going to include a list of thinkers and their publications in the description box below. Additionally, interdisciplinary conferences or organizations like the Future of Life Institute or the Center for Human Compatible AI often feature discussions and debates from these thinkers on the future of consciousness and artificial intelligence. I hope this video was worth your time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.